you get to first by lap. You'll get to first by lap six. By lap six. You can get groovy there. Yeah, that's true, but that's true. You can. But. Hey, Mets, um, you know, those comments in that chat, uh, yeah. What? <clears throat> We're trying to get me banned? I see that. I see, I see it. Did you report me? You reported me, did you? You see nothing wrong. No, I didn't report you yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yet. <laughs> hey, no, not A. Hey, I could time him. I have rights. I have rights. I could tell you. He said I have rights. Mm. Or that before. <laughs> hey, chill. No, 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 no. Georgia, Georgia, that that's uncalled for. I did nothing wrong. I didn't make a threat to. I didn't make a threat to anybody. Or you did or say. I, I mean, technically, it's a threat. No. Not if it's to you. Maybe. Probably. Most likely. Oh, yep. They are public. Yep. Yay. Number three on my list. I'd love to see the player count. Hey, okay. So I'm trying to turn down my effect volume so I can actually hear you guys. Is... Brian, you're still talking. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I only do it because you take it well. I only do it if you got pissed off. I probably would. Why there's only two people in there? Are they not going to join? Or do I got to refresh the lobbies? You have to refresh it to see the lobby count go up. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, now I I'll lost it. stop being pouty. You can speak. <laughs> you said he's going to sit here in silence. Grand. Oh. Four people now. Okay. Brent, how was your uh, how was your week, buddy? Did you enjoy the podcast last night? Did you enjoy uh, Richmond last week? Okay. Good talk. <laughs> Boycott. He's boycotting us. I blame Georgia. <laughs> Bully. <laughs> Technically, all of us are. No, Bryn, you're the boy. <laughs> you probably bullied Camo into getting a moderator in this chat. <laughs> Damn, Bryn. That's allegations for you. Hey, Mets, have you gone a little bit senile? No, why? Because you just said go dogs for the win. Yeah. Yeah. I'm nice like that. Yeah. Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. Better, uh, show up it's out of club. For the I mean, how good is it's out of club, so he has a good chance. I mean he he at least get a top ten maybe. I wanna see the twenty up there. It's a car that wins every week in real life. Ooh, yeah, Christopher Bell is actually good at NASCAR. Brain is alive. He's, back. He's alive, he's back. I'm alive. Yeah, I had to speak up against uh Georgia Doc, he's saying he was accusing me of bullying Camo into being a chat moderator. Was it true? No. Okay. I mean, technically, because you, Camo, technically, you kept no. complaining about the ads 
like Insolvable does every time he pops into the goddamn chat. <laughs> You've been bullying because he doesn't understand how it works. You've been okay, bullying him for a couple of days about his uh, putting it on putting the uh, race Monday on YouTube. Yeah, he still hasn't done it. I told him. Oh well, yeah, you, he told you. Yeah, it was Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he told me Saturday, and he's sticking to his morals, which is nice, but at the same time, annoying as heck. <laughs> yeah, go down. Yeah. See I'm, yeah, you're yeah. actively looking at the stream, and I'm on the lobby. <laughs> exactly. Go dogs! What are you doing? Go dogs is blind, bro. Don't worry about him. Okay, go dogs. We all, everybody from Auburn, has that issue. Right. Right. Nineteen Damn. people are in there. It's like a disease over there. Disease. Cal over we call there. it a cow college. <laughs> cow college, bro. Cow college. It's in the plains. Plains. Cow college. Oh, oh tree division. Man, this tonight's gonna be chaotic. It's gonna be. We got hidden truth. Spell chaotic. Dogs. Spell chaotic. Party. Right uh, are they in Discord or a party? You just told me to I'm join something. I'm spelling it on the chat. Okay. I'm not uh, saying it out loud. I'll be back I can't in a second, spell. then. Okay. You just. I said. Spell. I'm not saying it aloud. Okay? I can't say it aloud. It's hard to say it aloud. Remember, I have like a speech impediment or something. C A A O T I C. Chaotic. I said that right. Right? Yeah, I did. Cool. I said that right. I'm big brain. They can't hear me on the stream now. Uh huh. We're back. Oh. Uh, Camus viewers. So sad. So bad. They can only hear on my stream. Mets. I don't know what to talk about right now. I updated my cover photo. It's cool now. He's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Shh. Yes, sir. He's leaving three spots Full's for us. Full's gold is excite. He's not excited. Ex he's ex he is excite. 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 He did not wow. put the D. No, he's excite. Yo, they need to make a bigger lobby. Can we like tell them to do that? Because we have three of us tonight. Oh, um, I think they weren't planning on Mets joining. Is what I'm looking at. Yeah, well... Ah, damn it. No, they even have 22 now, but they might kick that person. I, do, I think that might be randoms. Yeah, it's randoms. Actually, there's like... Seven randoms. Oh, God. If you look down under... Drip should be the final one, so yeah, we have enough room. So is my wifey... It's full he's Wi Fi, okay. but he's in Wi Fi. Is he okay? Is he drunk? Yes. Like... Okay. Okay. Just had to make sure. I was just wondering. Because I'm like, how do you mess up spelling like that? By being drunk? <laughs> exactly. Oh no, the ticker's going down. Uh oh. Yes. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I joined. Back the fuck out. I'm trying! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Luckily I left. You, was... yeah, they paused it because you joined. <laughs> I accidentally did. I tried to back out. I backed out. I backed out. I backed out, guys. It's paused at the minimum amount of time. That fucker was at zero for a solid three seconds.
I think they got okay. one more random in there they gotta get rid of. Yeah, you gotta get rid of 19th now. Man, I thought they were, like, I hit A, like, you know, on my controller by accident, it just, like, went. That's when you just turn the Xbox off. I should. Hmm. I'm contemplating it. So they have 18 for tonight's event. Oh, they started. Good to go. Where the hell is that lobby? Ugh. Hmm. Burp. It's a hundred laps, so it's a fifty percenter. It's the same length as our race on Sunday. So if you guys are, <laughs> so this is gonna help me out. You and uh, it's uh, Mets look for a uh, comical Spinks. So this is direct, directly gonna help me if I write down the information, which I am a note taker. Mm. They just leave the race. I think I just left the race. Yeah, I did. Camo. I'll be back in. Camp. Damn it. Camo, you need to do better, bro. You're supposed to be the main broadcaster tonight. Come on now. My, my controller was sideways, whoa, whoa. so I pressed the. Wait, what, what did I miss? I think uh, I'll load in You missed. In time, but... Get into the lobby. Get in the lobby. The um, open, so, uh, as far as I know, I don't think there's any special systems they have in place for this race, so I think it's just a straight auto yeah, club race. Like it. It's not for main points, as it is our all-star race. Uh, I don't even know if they get player points for the win or not, but... I think they do get It is a race regardless, winning. and just in time, there's... Oh, there's lag. We're probably going to reset. Yeah, oh, yeah no, there's a lot definitely of lag. lag. Hoping that Didi gets a line before he quits. I get the stage one. Every thing. car is dying. Fun. I like that I made it back into the race before they went green, but it didn't matter anyway if we're just going to be twitching the entire time. Yeah, no, they're going to restart this. So stage one is going to be 29 laps. Fuel run is 22, so 18 to 19. 18 to 19 laps of fuel, I guess. Oh yeah, Georgia is slacking bad. No, it, it, it's bad. 18, 19 laps of fuel. Go. Yay, we're gonna reset. How many people are online Ooh. right now? I think I saw like it's three page like lobbies. Three yeah. Four page servers. lobbies. Too many, to say the least. 37 up. I wonder if they're joining and just running it from that. What do you mean by wrong, go dogs? <laughs> Bro. Bruno, I, I guess mean a go dogs. He mean a me, man. He does. He he threatens me falsely of wrecking me during the race, but he doesn't do it. And then, uh, no, I'm not mean. You sure it's Godog? You consider that savage. mean? You consider that mean? You consider what I do to him mean? Yes. Camo is worse. Very you much are yes. worse, Mets. Very much worse. I'm not worse. Do you know how much they actually bully go dogs over there? I'm actually nice to them, relative. Like, I do. blitzing them. Mm -hmm. He's not bullied I over another I legally that. cannot be nice to him as long as he is an Auburn fan. Yeah, true. Auburn fan, what what fan? What team do you root for? The actual Alabama team, Alabama. Got gotcha. you. So I, I legally act. cannot be nice to go dogs. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I used to be an Alabama fan. I like Helen DeBoer. That's literally about it. This is a fan base. When you're from this area, you gotta deal with Alabama fans. It's the worst. They're so entitled. It's ridiculous. Alabama fans? Yeah. So entitled. Some of them are. But if you're kind of like how my dad is, he's a 
SEC fan, but his mm-hmm. main team is Bama. Yeah. He he sees every angle pretty much. So based off what I got is that the last time they went going, Comical was on. I think they had own one lap around get this field set. It, so if it doesn't lag, we should be getting going soon. They're eighteen now. Uh, where are we talking about nineteen? They're having the ticker go down. It is gone. So they are going down. Comical actually got us invites as well. So that is good to hear. So this lobby does work for invites now. Here you go, Cam. Here you go. Or you could just look for Comical Spinks. But yeah, um, expectations for tonight, boys? What do you expect? Uh, I'm calling Didi King the winner. I don't know if that was that already, but I'm calling Didi, uh, Didi the winner. Uh, if he's going from last, I don't know where he's starting, but... I would uh, like to see him do the last to first challenge. I'm giving the so yeah, spotted. I, I did not count. Uh, spotted normally was the one that did this, but I don't know. I guess they try to tag you. <laughs> but they all yeah. type in suspect instead of the last part of our name, so it always pulls up. Yes, everybody. I know. Man, I, he said he was going to be back yesterday. I'm hoping he's back this Friday. I don't know what the plan is with him. Who's your pick, Brent? Do not know who is the pole sitter because I missed that. So we will see when they line up. Hmm? What'd you say? Um, Who's your Mr. pick tonight, Mr. Matches. Uh, um, I got a surprise if he's in the field. I got Proto or Romeo winning tonight. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. DD is just an easy pick, so that's the reason Obviously. number one why I'm not taking him. Ah, uh, DD's horrible. <laughs> he's slow. Yeah, I agree. Let's see. Hold. Oh. Let's cross your fingers. I am not seeing any lag, and I believe we are going green, green? straight from there. I was correct. Right. It's just join and go. And I was about to join say, go. Uh, yeah, Comical go. was going to be my pick, and he starts <laughs> off the pole here. <laughs> yes. I thought he was going to start the midfield somewhere. Now they're already three wide racing. Yeah, immediately they went three wide on the third row back, the 23 on the outside, 10 in the middle. 22 of Romeo has taken over the lead, coming off through the back stretch into turn three. Spinks, they're about four wide here. Oh, we are three by three, four wide in second place. Yeah, it's going to get dicey. Auto Club is one of those tracks where you expect three to four wide racing. Stage oh, number fuck. one is very short, by the way. It is only 29 laps. They're going to have one pit stop during this stage as well. Could be fuel saving, half throttling, but at the same time, I feel like fuel saving here isn't really the goal. I don't I don't know what it is. It's a little bit different from other Super Speedways. I just feel like it's harder on controller to save here, but it might just be me. You could it have thought of it, but you need to be in a pack and like having somebody push you while on the back of somebody as well. Saw contact right there, the 14 and 10. That was almost very close, considering he tried to get in as the 14 tried to leave. They are able to get it down as they're still fighting four wide behind these yes, guys. Yes, four so wide. Has led both Didi laps. in the middle over there. T Stone in at 23, three wide with Banksy, one of my picks for tonight's event. Who else did I pick for tonight as well? Banksy and Proto. 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 Oh, Proto, 14 yeah. going up. A little bit of touch with the 23. They keep it straight. No other contact. 16 and 10. Get good momentum there. Look at them running it up. 23 it is wasn't. holding the 34 and 9 behind him on that top lane. Didi has flown up towards the lead. Tags the oh, 22. Slides up. 24 slides up as well. Slides back into the 34. The 34 of Proto got hit there. What it's you call a dive bomb, 10 man. after that huge check up between the 16 and 14. Look at Godog sitting Ooh. right there on the top of that four wide. In He's in place. the middle. He he drops back. He just dropped back there. So Comical, Pure Splash hits a little bit in Comical, but Pure Splash is another one who is really good at Auto Club. I see him move to the field. Tell, oh my god, it's just a huge pack up here. Look at them. They're <laughs> three by three over here. They have and not broken packs. off of this huge <laughs> pack not. of cars. I've seen a lot of door contact, but everybody, for the most part, has been staying in line. We only saw that Ooh, one right, check up between the 14 and 16. No, oh, 23! Oh, 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 that's, that's a wreck! Didi gets collected. There's someone in the grass. the grass. That will be our first caution. It is raced back. Is Romeo usually in the 22? Yeah. Romeo should be the 22, yeah. It looks awkward. I don't know why. Oh, wait. No, now I remember why. Because of last... Sunday because of last Monday. My bad. 
<laughs> it's awkward because yep, yep, we yep. haven't been here for two yep. weeks. That's why. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. See if I Romeo mean, Proto... can take over the lead going on to caution. He is the one that Banksy. takes his apron the most. He goes down by the grass. Not able to get side by side with the 10, so it looks like Banksy will lead them back into caution. You know who's up to third is Dirtiest Cat. Um, someone who's been very underrated this season, I guess. He's been the top 10 driver, but really has it. Shh. Here you go. What happened to Tony? Brake car just hit the brakes and brake. Yeah, he hit the brakes hard, car. No. <laughs> after that, after you call on the 38 there, I was about to say person who is holding off on a top five is the 20 of go dogs he was now, in there earlier before a checkup and he went right back into it now burn you mentioned earlier about fuel what are we looking at now with fuel on stage now we're good um, to go i mean we've only run about i think five or six laps uh what's the race so far we've have 20 when we go green, it's about 24 to go, so no, you're not good on fuel unless okay. you're literally a demon at saving fuel, which some people are, but I think the max you can save is maybe 21, and it's, we still have... You can save two full laps on a 2x square auto club race, no matter the car. Now, okay. you will be sputtering and coasting on that second lap, but it is possible. Cause yeah, I just don't think it's close times. enough. Okay, if they keep, so if they keep racing like they're doing, it's gonna be another caution anyway. So I will say oh, it's something. Actually, though? it's very possible to save to get to the end of this stage caution free because it is 23 to go right now. Everybody's in pits to take 22 laps of fuel, and they do 22 to go. If I believe on the do they choose on the back stretch or on the front stretch? I think they do on the back stretch. Back, back, stretch. back stretch. Yeah, back. Yeah, they're back stretch. Thanks, Georgia, so for the sub. This is the first sub that I have actually seen show up in my feed in probably half a year. <laughs> sure. Uh, nah. Well, I should, I should share my 12th 12, 12-month 12 anniversary. Yeah. Have you actually been subbed that long? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Mets. You paying out the big bucks. I support my commentary. Brand once you get once you get uh what's it called? I'll get you too. Affiliate? Yep. Once you get affiliate, I'll get you too. Who is up here? That is Banksy in the tin car. <laughs> so somebody in the top five had damage or no, the twenty past the twenty four are off pit road, so Go Dogs moves up into second row, joins Romeo this time on the outside. Yep, Banks. Whoa, oh, dirty. Dirty. What are we doing, dirty. Dirty. Probably got let her let go of his controller for a second. It slid up the track. Wrong way. You can't park there. Can't park there. Can't park there. Come on, Dirt. Get back down. Come there you go. On, Good cat. They go at the line, right? Yep, they go at the line. Good cat. Go at the line. <laughs> Good cat. <laughs> a watch from King Coda. Bad dog. Good cat. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, we got nicknames now, boys. We, All we right. Calling them. Coming up to 22 to go at the line. They send them off to restart the stage. Currently, everyone is good on fuel. Never mind, the counter just switched down, so everyone is one lap short of fuel. So look for those that will save. So, already, Dakota 3 is already goes sitting in the, the rear. Third. Yeah, DD holding off in the <laughs> rear, not really going anywhere. Watch a few guys Thank already you. getting single file in the backfield. We saw they were 3x3 three three to start the stage, and now they're kind of spread out like the backfield. Yeah, as exactly. King Cody, but they're still split. four wide. They're still four wide back here. Proto making moves on Pure Splash in the four of SRT Drip back here. Round 10th. Round 15th. Hidden Truth battling with Go Dogs back here as well for 10th place. Three wide place. for the lead right now. 41. Ooh, dirtiest cat on the that's outside splash. lane. Splash? No, not Splash. Uh, who is that? Neil? 41 to make Neil take yes, the that's middle. That's McNeil. Yes. Comical. Here's still Dirtiest wide. Cat side by side with the 10 still. Watch out for the momentum here. He's going to have a huge momentum. The 38 of Dirtiest. Going to push McNeil out in front, who officially takes over the lead. King Kota gave a little bit of a block to the 14. He caught the wall off of that. 
King Kimmel is able to keep this line in front or behind the 38. Romeo just in the middle of every single car. Yeah, and I, I honestly, it freaks me out being in the middle of all this, but at the same time, he's on the bottom lane, the most secure lane, the safest lane. So, I mean, at this point, I mean, I wouldn't really be worried, but look at Dirty's Cat with a huge run here. Second oh, line. Oh, with a little bit of a block, still has the run, 22 in the 10, he saves it. Dirtiest Cat with a blocked into the wall, still had run on the 41, but he sends it deeper. See if he washes up and Dirtiest Cat can try to dive back under him. It looks like McNeil will hold speed, and McNeil will stay in second. Is that second pack back there trying to save, or are they just getting in line to catch Slug. it back up? <laughs> Oh, I would slow. imagine every car up here in this top 10 is not saving. You look back behind the 20, that's where you'll find your savers. Fan, no, yep. yeah, I could guess that relatively. We know Didi's an average saver. I don't know about anybody else. Push from but... Comical onto the 38, pushes him out beside the 41, three wide for the lead. The 24 almost had a peak for but falls back in line. Comico's gonna push that 38 to the lead, but they're still side by side. Potential of Comico losing the bottom lane if Coda decides to go to it. Curious Cat will lead that lap. I'm curious if King Coda stays with the 14. I see him poking out of line sometimes. Mm -hmm. He lets him back in. I wonder how many times he can do oh, that. He slides up, makes a mistake. Here comes There's a mistake by the 14. Back yeah, up the track. Massive 24 gonna take 20 it. Of two of Romeo. Watch out. Oh, they save it. Oh, 10 in a row. Another the round. Round. No more saving for the rest of this stage. We will be under caution. Well, that that makes 41 it. 41 makes it dive down to the three. Oh, not oh. able to hold it. The Look at Romeo. 38 up. Oh, Romeo's got to move. Romeo used it. Contact. Into the 41 into the 38. But 30th cat still holding the, the lead. I mean, for the uh, And 30th cat will take them back to caution. Romeo lost a lot of spots there. Or a lot of momentum at least. Yeah, but this down. takes away the fuel saving aspect, yeah, so yep, Didi... There goes the saving. Mm -hmm. There goes Didi starting up front now. Didi's in the rear now because of that incident. Because that he wanted to save I fuel and now... I wouldn't worry about that too much, because if you check back from the beginning of the race, he got up to about second place off of three laps. True. Yeah, it didn't take him very long to get up to the front. But also, still, anything can happen to the, towards the rear of the field. That's why I'm a little worried for him. But at the same time, considering how he drives to the field, I mean, shouldn't be that big of an issue. Who's the leader? I'm surprised, uh, it's the 38. But I'm surprised we have not seen anybody wrap turn one and two yet. Still fairly, fairly early, but that is usually the problem area is that uh, turn one and two apron. Yeah, and that is a bit of an issue. Dirtiest cat warm up his tires in a weird I, way. I would imagine we're going to see all fuel stop for these guys, but I think somebody's going to do a two tire. I wouldn't. This is my Someone opinion. in the rear of the field is probably going to do a two tire. Go dogs. <laughs> I don't see why Go dogs would do it, though. Isn't he like near the front? No, he has damage. He's involved in uh, that caution. Oh, oh yeah, he see? was. Yeah, if he has damage, I don't see why he would do a two tire. You can see, maybe, maybe T Stone. I know he's up there, but to get track position a little more, I can see him doing it. He's a, he seems to be more of aggressive. I mean, if you want to lose a stage, I would take two tires. Kyoto did it. Uh, uh yep. Not very. I uh, would did, not do King that. King did a no tire. That had no to tire. Be, that was a no tire. That had to be. That was crazy. I could be wrong, but that, that's a bit of a gap between yeah, second right. place there. Yeah, that's a huge gap. Well, we still have 15 more off. to go. We got 15 yeah, more still, to go. That's still still a good amount of laps, and you know how the pack racing is. You're still going to be there regardless, but I feel like those tires matter regardless of 10% or 8% down. Honestly, King Coda being the one to take the two tire was surprising considering he was running, I believe it was third at one point, pushing the yeah, do 14 right. along.
Yeah, college football features a game mode where you can create a burn account and just set <laughs> hype yourself up. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's get back into the into the race. Sorry about that. That's <laughs> just funny, bro. How they showed fast? a picture of KD. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how fast does twenty four keep his lead? I gave it to you. I gave it I turn one. I see a few out of turn aggressive one. cars around him right now. Looking yeah. at 38, 41, at 22 and 14. I'll set we'll it off. Keep a it good going restart by the low lane. He'll definitely keep it going right. into one because if he wraps his bottom, he'll lose lane, it off of. He'll lose it off of one because he can't he, wrap it. That. He's got to stay down off the uh, turn two if he wants to keep it because here comes a run he from the 41. Well, McNeil's gonna have a good run with, with hidden truth. Look at that, he's dying. He's looking, I knew it, he was looking. 45 stays with him though. 45 does stay with him. Backs off, of gives McNeil. him room, but T-Stone sends it in onto him from third place. 24 slowed off the corner, here comes T-Stone to second now as McNeil starts to pull away. So you, there's a huge pack behind them as well. There's a huge line of llamas, comical. I was going to say Didi, but he backed off. The outside lane is starting to get it wrapped around as they go four wide. is falling off of that two-tire <laughs> stop. Oh, 38 lag. I thought he just launched it in the 23. He is moving everywhere. No, oh. he's Here lagging. Everybody. Look at everybody yeah. taking the bottom. <laughs> Everyone goes to the bottom. <laughs> scared get away. Of him. Get away. Oh, my God. Get away. He's into there the wall. Goes. Yep. They pulled him up to the top. They're three wide of back down here. I mean, they're squeezing it. They're condensing the racing, but no, it's going to happen. It reminded there. me of people like scrunching up at a subway, <laughs> getting away from the creepy guy. Oh, the creepy oh dude, the creepy guy. So the battle for the lead is heating up between T Stone, Proto, and yeah. now no, that's T -Stone not Proto. That's has Romeo. Caught Romeo trying to chase them down. Pro or not? Uh, T Stone. Made a look, but stays with the 41. I'd imagine he's probably paying, playing patient as we still have over 10 laps to go. What is happening behind them? Oh, six man. wide! That's what's happening. They were six <laughs> wide for a half second there. Look at him dicey! We'd like to see this, still lagging in the background, too. If you're, right, like, Romeo part of this pack... Move. Sorry. If you're part of this pack, you hate this. If you're like someone like B Dodds, you guys want these guys to get single file. But if you're up front of that front three pack, you're actually happy that they're battling like this because they're killing their own momentum here, in my opinion. But they're starting 45. to gain. It's 45. So, to not know what lane to fuck. Romeo tagged the apron in one and two after the 41 had a huge run. 22 hit that apron. The 41 went wide. It slowed him and the 23 down. 23 just got in the wall, so now they're still pulling they're back there. towards the rest of the pack. Second pack now is here. Now Proto being launched by b Dodds in the back of the 23. The T-Stone's going to slide up, potentially lose two to three. Five spots here if he can't get help by b Dodds. McNeil in the middle. We have in the oh, stage. We'll get back to it. Four wide, three wide. Yep, there's that 16. He was poking. Romeo blocks the 41 of McNeil. 45 of Hidden Truth slides up in front of Didi. So Didi's going to lose his momentum that he had. Yeah. T-Stone so. on the top. Three Proto wide. is three wide. Huge spread of cars. That 45 getting all he can. Oh. Touching some grass down there. We are 10 laps to go. Stage one. Still three wide with Pure Splash, T-Stone, and Proto. But McNeil on the high lane. Do you think he gets some momentum here? He has help on the top lane as well. I think he'll get some good run here. Here he comes. He oh, tried Proto's to gonna follow get a good the run. leader's oh. draft that kind of slowed up Proto's run. Didi in the wall a little bit, but he keeps it safe. There's still three wide here. He's still oh, on the three. Slides up. No. B dots going up as well. They 16 dodges them. They keep that top line. Top lane moving. is still organized. Yeah, I was so gonna say two stones alone in the middle. They got a four line loose. train. The 41 staying up there now. They they're not worried about the 22. Oh, Didi forced it on the 34 to go four wide into one. McNeil is not liking what's happening behind him. He wants them to get formed up again so he can get momentum here. They're still Proto three wide. Forced out of the high lane. So now Didi's going to get it up to the back of the 41, see what he can do, push him beside the 23. 
Still four wide four right here. Wide. Oh, 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 41 gets three, four wide officially. They've been four wide, but now they're four wide, almost five wide here. Didi is pressuring this 34 as much as he can. He doesn't want to lose that spot to him. He took over that high lane, and now it, it is falling apart with no draft help. Looks like T-Stone has taken over the lead. Pro, not Pro, uh, Romeo holds in second. <laughs> It's gonna Falls be up all wide. <laughs> Proto down the middle, being pushed by the 99. Leaves here he comes, got a good run here. The top, but has draft on the leader. 23, the 23 goes down to block. Tries to block. Proto just runs his line. He stayed low. Oh, 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. I believe that's Llama's Proto's gonna 99. get the run. Proto yeah, has Proto a run, but outside lane, inside lead. lane has help. Will here lead that lap. Took, took that lap. Here comes Pure Splash. Pure Splash, Llamas, all in the middle lane. Oh, the 17 no. backed off too much there. Killed the 99's run, and he's falling mid-pack there, so no help on the 34. Now, with White Line Proto's not necessarily gotta having uh, teams, except they're just manufacturers, do you think that comes into play at all during these races, or it's just it whoever can bring me to the front? Might, but I feel oh, like the majority of the time... Watch out! Who you trust personally? I just saw a bunch of contact with the 45 under the 17. Being yeah. out three wide for second, and T Stone looking on from a three car links ahead. And we're coming down to six to go now for stage number one. T Stone, your oh, leader. Oh my He's, god! Oh my god! The 34 four wide. just got swallowed into a four wide as the 45 launched oh, by 22 everybody. 22 hits the nine car B dots. All right, hidden truth is clear. Can Proto get clear of Didi here? No. He gets side drafted. Side -drafted. Um, Auto club. Watch Didi his line. He stays in this high lane most of the time. Yeah. Oh, contact with that 34. But no, no problem for him. He loves the high lane. He will run that. So he has room to adjust if need be. We are five to go. Stage one. T Stone leads. Three car and lake lead. Oh, 17 just sent Didi a little bit. Ruined Didi's run a little bit on the high lane. Got Trout started. moving up into fourth place. Now drafting behind 34 of Proto. T-Stone breaking a draft. Break and they're uh, trying to grab it late in the corner. So that's going to kill their uh, turn in momentum into three. I'll tell you something, Camo. This top four have gotten organized. They're single file now. They're trying to catch they Tristan, are, who's been it. chilling out in the lead so far. Yeah, he has not been pressured. It is four to go now, and the people that broke away from that melee you see back there are not really as aggressive. 14 into the door of the nine. Since the 45 up the track, they are good, stays off the wall. That was almost really bad back there. Now they're in line with this leader. Proto goes for a move does on he have enough, Does he have the draft to least front? Here comes a guys. huge run. He might if they continue battling how these guys are now. We're coming to three to go. DD has broken away from that pack. Same as Romeo. Two by two, or not two, uh, two wide for third place right now as Proto has caught the back of the 23. He's got a huge run here. Look for him to make a move here. On that Up side, to the high to side, go. he's going to have this corner momentum. If he can stay on the 23, he does not stay beside the 23, so T-Stone will get back to the high side. Proto got run the run. Run the pack into the 45. Well, they helped the 23. 23. Forward. That's surprising. I thought they would help 34 here. I didn't. Well, I mean, they are Toyotas, technically. I just didn't know they would help T-Stone so That here. cleared T-Stone in the corner, but he goes a little bit wide. He still has the better speed. Now the 45 was just pushing him forward to give himself a hole. And he's going to take it. Here go down to the on bottom. The inside, two to go. Hidden truth. Trout stays with the 23, stays wide. Proto Hidden trying to clear. get back to them. Look for the undercut. Look for the undercut. T Stone slides back down to the bottom. Here comes the 19. Has a hole to work with. Does he try to make a run to move to three wide? He he's will going not. He will stay he behind the 23. Yep, he's playing patient push. coming up to the final lap of stage one. A tight on the 19 into assembled. the 45. 34 will Three take wide. it there. Three wide now, for second, look at that backpack. Was. Look out for Didi. Didi's caught, but not enough time to catch this leader. 
I don't think so. I think there well, is maybe. time. He's nope, gonna he get the top lane. He takes it from the 45. We'll see if he can get some draft help coming off. He clears the 45. See if he, he can work clears the 34. If he can grab on, draft here, he will have a chance for the race uh, for the stage win. The 34 blocks, grabs the draft, push on the 45 all the way down to the bottom. They're gonna get Proto's a run. Gonna They're gonna send down. it in here. Proto stays down. Proto goes for not it. minute contact. Looks like T-Stone will hold on to take stage one. His second place, switch hands. It does not look like it will, so Proto will hold second. DD fights back for third. Hidden Truth will take fourth. And Nick Neal fights up for fifth. Great racing Sick. all around. Great racing all be, around. I think there. that's going to be Romeo. Yeah, Romeo takes bacon sixth. Up there. Trowler is going to take seventh. Enraged Llamas takes ninth, eighth. Pure Splash ninth and beat odds. I know this is not a points race, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, stage one. We saw the action that we came for. Mm-hmm. Auto Club at its finest. Especially for these next-gen cars. It's just Very close craziness. pack racing that Probably got, Auto Club gives us. Probably got 10, it's sketchy. 11 bleed changes by now. Maybe even more. I mean, to be fair, T-Stone led a lot of majority of those laps, so not really a lot of lead changes. I mean, well, once he pulled away from the pack. He didn't really hit, he didn't really see close to the lead until that last caution. So I know, T-Stone like, was struggling through traffic, and once he got yeah. that uh, caution to get another restart, he was out front since, so I wonder if he gets caught back in traffic, does he struggle getting back to the front? Guys, someone in pit. King Coda forgot the pit. Wow. And he yep. will... He was the guy who stayed out and took only tires. Way. Remember that. He only took tires that last pit stop as well. So, um, I don't know what his strategy is here. He stays in. I wonder if he pit before yeah, 2 to go. Yeah, so I'm thinking that he pit before 2 to go and then take that advantage. Not getting the last. He's still very much challenging for the lead. Mm. So, I guess King Kota is back in the running here. Holding down the bottom nah, line, but the 34, not letting it happen. <laughs> Sends him three wide for the lead. 24, Slides too fast into the, into the oh. corner, touch the 23. They're gonna go four wide four here. Four wide for the lead. Four wide for second now as DD is pushing that 34 on the bottom. They're getting dicey and slicey. Watch that 99, a little bit close on the 45. They get a little dicey 16, up towards the top. getting blocked by the 34. That was a lot Six. of movement for cars being four wide. Oh, oh Beanots, look on at Dakota. 45 into the wall almost. They save it back there. There's still four wide back yeah, there. Still splitting four back there. You see Godog is being very aggressive down to the bottom, following with a 10, trying to get out of that traffic, join these guys up front. As Proto has taken over the lead, Didi holds in line behind him with T Stone and Llamas. <laughs> Didi's going for the move on the outside oh, lane. Llamas so bit tight. The contact. Look how tight it is here. Those two yellow cars are going to be confusing all night. Proto and, T <laughs> and Romeo. They look the same in terms of yep. colorage. Oh, I bet it's very close. A little touch on the 34. That's going to kill the 99's run through the corner. Enraged loses a lot of momentum. But Didi is your leader now. He is going to be very controlling. I feel like he's going to swap lanes and make them work for it, I guess. Control the runs. Now, Brandon, what is Probably the uh, stage count here in stage two? Well, how many laps in stage two? 27. So they will, it will be a one stop. Or... Yeah, still yeah. one stop. Yeah. Ooh, Thank 23. Three wide for the lead. Didi let them have it. He's wow. falling back. He's on the is outside he, lane. Is he doing. No, there's no chance to fuel. So there's no chance he turned in a fuel saver. Well, right? there there's a certain advantage to it because you can pit later. Sometimes that's very yeah. valuable pitting later here. Not mm -hmm. just because of tires, but you can actually gain time by doing it instead of an undercut. That's why mm -hmm. Auto Club is so weird with its pit road. Oh, B odds! Into the side of Go Dogs. That was close. Go Dogs got a huge run at them run, but they cycled out. out. They've cycled out for the most part. A good double file line. They spread out going in the turns, but the majority of it's two by two. To be honest, two lines. Camo, it just looks like DD likes to run the outside lane. Oh, it yeah. I, call, like I called it earlier. Clutch. DD loves the outside. 23 looking low for that the lead. Aggressive by the 23. Oh, the 5 tried to turn in. Wide. 
He tried to turn in, caught the door with the 22. That's going to push the 16 now. up and push the 34 back. So they get going. Uh, Go Dogs letting them all fight in the top lane. Still holding with Banksy on the bottom, picking up a few more positions, about to close into a top five. Yeah, Ghost Good. Tech is now in the front. We saw them a little bit back there at around 10th or 12th. Him and Godos are slowly moving their way through the field. Ghost Tech's a little bit of a guys. shallow entry on one and two that I'm noticing. It might be killing his exit speed and trying to work with draft to keep it up, but Someone if he got goes single car, the the field. I think that's a 38 calling for lag again. Dirty, yeah. But. Sad. Romeo has moved back into the lead. Go Dogs almost tried to dive under the five. Three wide the for the apron. lead. McNeil is your wide, leader. Four wide for the lead. Four wide for the, the lead. These guys McNeil are racing. Wide close down. It's an all-star race. They're four wide, two rows Three. deep. What are they Proto, doing? A little bit of contact, but they still stay oh, three wide splash. coming out of turn almost two. Into the wall. Turn of and here we go. There's 24, 19. Collected. I believe it was contact between Go Dogs and Trout, and they went around. That will be a caution for stage number two. Romeo out front. No contest there. He will lead them back to caution. And Proto will take second. Oh, T Stone and Ghost Tech collected. Ghost oh, Tech Ghost loses around. several positions. I think T Stone as well. Yeah, T Stone and Ghost Tech will lose multiple positions up before they can reach the line. Now, what are we at Ghost right now? Went around. Go? How many to go? I believe we are 20 to go. 20 to go. As the line right out there. Out of fuel, out of fuel, um, in the fuel cycle. Fuel range. That so you want to be saving. Fuel okay. is 22 to 23. Yeah, so you should be fine. Alright, I will say though, it's, I, I can't, I think you waste about two few, two laps of fuel pushing it. So, yeah. Relative, it's 20, about 20 laps if you're not saving. 18, 19, 20. That's the amount you can go. If you're half throttle, I think you can save 20. I think they're good on fuel here. I think they should be. At least close. It's going to be at least. They'll be here. Yeah. It'll be nice the once they they pass the line through pit road. They'll be fine. Gotcha. Gotcha. If I was going to say, if you're. 18. I know who's really good on fuel, and I know who's going to make it, essentially. I know Didi's good on fuel because of his tendency to save. But you know this benefit is this benefits go dogs a lot. I know he you said he was caught up. He in was instant, almost but he was, he was keep almost straight. collected in that wreck. I think him and the 19 he got, got together. Straight. I'm not sure who was the cause, but I wonder if the 19 got hit into him because there was another car around. I'm not sure who it was. A oh, Mr. Regular guy show is live or regular show. <laughs> God, this guy and his names, man. It's this really guy. I was going to make a joke earlier about the 38 being Tyreek, but I thought it was too soon. Tyreek? <laughs> <laughs> what? The lag. Yeah, the lag. Ah, got you, got you, got you. Hey, dirt doesn't usually lag. That's what's sad. I don't know. I don't... Man, this man is flying right now. 22? Jeez, Hendrick. Ooh. Hendrick. Oh, oh you talking about it, sorry. Yeah, he's up to eighth. Where are they he's at? Moving his way to the field. Charlotte. No. I don't know, right? He's racing against Nick H. Now, where do they? Where do they uh, choose? They did it before the turn four. Turn Back three. Stretch. Probably the light coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, they do. Yeah, the light. Yep, there you see him. Oh, where? Where's Romeo oh. going? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Romeo yes. pull it that's off. definitely choosing right there. <laughs> well, he's just choosing the inside. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just have to show it. You know, he had to make sure he doesn't get a penalty, you know? I can I can hear Spartan saying right now, Why are you down there? Why are you down there? Get up here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. Foles Gold finally has the opportunity to start inside the top 10. He's been in the rear of the field. Where is Didi? How far oh, did Didi's on Didi second lane. Where did how far did twenty three drop? A good bit, because they lost like five plus positions once they made contact. Yeah. Alright, coming up to eighteen to go here at the line. Romeo to lead them proto on his outside. Didi to McNeil, second row. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. 
Star one of one stage very two, solid restart. restart from both lanes. A gap between the top five right gap now. Gap between the inside lane. Yeah, they're not formed up really well on the inside and lane. But at the same time, go. but at the same time, pure splash got loose, and that cost of the outside lane is momentum. So now Ooh, hidden truth Ooh, sends it up nearly. Didi Watch does not. Oh, push here comes Banksy on the bottom. Look for Banksy. He's going for the move now for the lead. Ten He's sends slide it up. I watched the 16 dive up back to the 22. He did not keep it in the throttle to push the 22. That kept the 34 a bit si side by side with the lead. Romeo able to prevail coming through the tri oval. So Proto now in the middle. Go dogs down the bottom. Almost took the 10. There's three Whoa. yellow cards. Why do they all have to be the yellow? Stays off the 34. That was an interesting strategy from Romeo right there. He was he had the lane and everything, and then he decided to go high. Why? It worked out on the wrong one. It worked out. Interesting. It worked out. I've never seen we've that before. Seeing, we've been seeing Didi do it all night. He's been running the outside yeah, lane sure. on race. Yeah, but this yeah. is like Romeo going from the bottom before turn one right to the top before entering turn Keep two. Keep another right? eye on that 16. He does not like a car on his They're outside. They're five wide back there. They're I five wide back too. there. <laughs> We have to keep our Please. eyes open, eagle eyes tonight. Oh, they're beat out sliding up back there. Battle for second uh, more place. More contact with the 16 to the 10. Like I said, DD does not like away. having a car on his right side. Here comes the 34 to the outside line. T-Store got loose behind someone. Lost a lot of momentum there. You see him dropping back right there in the 23 machine. Huge so back cars so far. DD has broken away from it. Now mm -hmm. uh, Splash trying to join on the bottom with Hidden Truth. They're still two by two on the. Didi likes right that pack. wall. He but does, not... but he got slowed a bit. I think he tagged it. He tagged it, yeah, for sure. But yeah, now uh, we can see that 22 of Romeo just he's on all the track trying to enter this like inner turn one and two, and he's carrying his yep. momentum very well. It's he let off early and dive it straight down to have full That's throttle the thing. down it the back. It works. It works because he's currently not fighting anyone, and it helps him get a better arc into the corner. But if these guys eventually catch him, he can he got to stop doing it. But it's helping him pull away a little bit. He's not really pulling away; it's just keeping the gap where it is currently. Where did Duty? Okay, I was gonna say. 14 to go for stage number two. Romeo continues to drive away. I hate to put a little more gap here and here and there every other turn. I'm waiting on somebody to try to work with Proto instead yeah. of pass him. We'll see what McNeil does. Nope, McNeil's nope. going to try to pass him. I'd be so frustrated if I'm like second or I'm like Proto trying to like work together. I'm like, why are you going for the move here, man? Come on. Oh, I'm sure they're leader. talking about it in the voice channel right now. Let's go. We know yeah, we got to get 13 them. laps to go to catch that leader, and they're going three the wide for second place again. Didi out by Third himself. Place. McNeil now is trying to break away from that pack, but a He's huge able to carry run the momentum by here. Can he we'll jump it up to the top McNeil and pull block. the 16. McNeil blocks him. As we see the leader faintly pulling oh. away from this pack. Oh, 23 in the wall. 23 got caught with a lag right there. Judy slides into the bottom. Nobody's been able to break away from this pack other than the 22. It's 13 to go. to go. Or 12? 12 12 to go. Yep, 12 to go, sir. Sorry. They should be good on fuel. Dude. They Thanks. should be good on fuel. So <laughs> McNeil has lost two spots out of there, so now we might be able to see a breakaway by Proto now. We know the 16 is aggressive, with them. and I that's I think that's what's costing aggressive. them. And Four I think that's what's costing them here. If he decided to stay put. All right, so SRT Drip is retired from the race. McNeil close on the 34, going to side draft him and keep them falling back some more. In my opinion, if they just settle behind Proto, I feel like they would catch him. 34 is going to dive down to keep the 41 from diving beside him. He will get it there that time, but now Didi's stuck on the outside. In theory, if it being an all-star race, I mean, what's the... You're not winning it. You're not getting anything at stage two, so have fun. 
the stage two is basically set up True. for final stage two. That's where the, the big win is. So, Romeo's yeah, backing I off. Look at the gap between the yeah, leader yeah. and second place. Romeo was falling off. Well, they finally got a little organized. Didi is pushing that yeah, 20, but they 34. Were still, they were just side by side, like, less than a lap ago. You think, you think he's good on fuel? I don't think Romeo's going to make it. Look at the gap falling. I mean, he's got yeah, space he's, to give, he's... but yeah, no, they're catching. That's draft range, I think. Should be. On the edge of it, at least. Yeah, if it's like normal draft for tonight's event, which they usually run, they should be I think, in the draft. They I don't think run they're low. on no, uh, low, but they are, they, holy Christ, he's on him. No, they run normal draft in this series. That's what Good Alex told me. So, yeah, he definitely was in draft range. Yeah, no, they got draft now. Yeah, What's going to happen here? Is he going to... Here, nine to go. And they are making a move for the lead. They are Romeo going around does him not immediately. fight it. Yeah, he does uh, not yeah. fight it, so I believe he might be short on fuel. Or at least on the path to being short on fuel. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he uh, is alone pushing, to be fair. He was alone, that, uh, just riding laps. Does that bring up yep. anybody else in the question mark of fuel, do you think? I don't remember anybody... Someone that might come to mind, maybe the 41, as he was one of the big pressures to like try to get a pass done. He's sitting Boy, in pack right now, just made contact with that 22 back into the field. We are eight to go. DD up to second still. T Stone back in the picture. Back up here. He's gonna say he's back up to the top five now. He said earlier, once he got back to traffic, is that an issue for him? Well, right now, he's already up inside the top five it, after... It has taken a while for the 23 yes. to get through traffic, though. Yeah, but right. he is here later into stage two. But he's there when it matters, to be fair. You only got to get there in the final few laps. You don't really need to be up from all the time, I guess. Correct. Very correct. 22, looking low on the 34. Three wide for the lead again. Romeo uh, back under power. He just slides up in front of the hey, Remember, it might be an ulster race. If he takes, if he takes off again, off. he's class of the field. If he goes up there, comes up and takes off, takes off again. No, I, I don't think he's going to pull away like that. No. It's oh, oh, DD, DD makes a three wide. Three. <laughs> 99 trying to follow, but they're the going to go four wide here. If there. Does it. Four wide on the sec or third place for half a second right there with the 45 on the down low. Two. I know the 23 wanted to right there. 99. They're going nice oh. here. Oh, oh nice contact hard. high wide. Yep. 14 of see, Comical. We see this pack of five racing right here, but you look right behind him. You have seven, maybe eight more cars ready to take the lead as well. Oh, 24 up into the 14. They stay off the wall. They stay straight. Still a three wide between B Dodds and them. So Rodney is back is in the back now. To what, eighth? Ninth? That's only, that's only sixth. Oh, it's only six? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Mets. Yeah. <laughs> Mets. Harsh, aren't you? I just hey, saw right now, ninth right place now. is basically sitting where sixth place would be. There's so many cars up here. Yeah, and Proto is leading this pack. Him and Didi have been leading the top and bottom lane for about three to four laps, and this and is five it's to go. Five to go. This stage is final. Oh, so the 41 this... just gave the 23 a shot, yes. cleared him for the lead. T-Stone's back in it. What do I make Neil got loose? Here comes the What's the to the bottom. Gonna do? Oh, here comes Didi. Oh my god, Didi squeezes the high side again. Ah. 41 down on the apron. A little bit of contact. 24 on the apron up. as well. Look out this, they're gonna be four wide here. Llamas follows Didi. Four to go now in stage Didi? number two. Here comes Didi to the bottom. Wide. Four to Inning go. Lama's still holding as the pusher behind all of these guys that have been swapping the lead. Lamas has been the one to push. Romeo gets loose, gets up to the track. That almost wrecks Romeo, who keeps it out of the wall. They're riding neck to neck, side draft to one another. Lamos just got pushed up the track. He's going to lose a lot of momentum. He's potentially going to lose a spot to Romeo he here. Stay ahead of the 22. He does. 
But that inside lane has the momentum and the pushers. Three to go three now. Three wide, number three two. to go. Oh, 23 thought to oh, get help the Three wide still. Three to go here. Romeo cycled the 99 behind him, so now Llama's about a bit out of the picture for now. Here comes the question, is, is controlling everybody going to make it? Is DD everybody going to make it? Finally cleared for the lead. He's going to block to the bottom. He's securing the bottom lane. That's one thing that DD likes. King Kota gets moved up a little bit by the 14 of Comical back here. But it's getting dicey. It's the last few laps of stage number two. That 41 is aggressive. I just want to state that right now. He's going to make a move here. Nick Neal like hard on the bumper of the 16. Two to go. King Coda is in third. Here comes Romeo back in the picture. Oh, Coda lets off. Coda let off to give the 41 room to get back down. Look at the cars waiting right behind the leader. Everyone Here is comes in within 41 the same to the bottom turn. lane. He got the momentum run. You can throw a blanket on him right now. Oh, DD tries to block McNeil. McNeil goes down to the apron. Coda had to let off to give room. Aggressive by the 41, might McNeil prevail to the bottom. If he can hold the bottom, he still has it and pulling on the 16. There goes down the bottom, push on the 24. He does not take it. Side draft on the white flag for the stage. Here comes the 22 and 23 on the top lane. 16 left out the middle. There are three wide still. DD stuck in the middle lane. 24 Here comes sets Comical. the corner. Up. The 14. This will might now give take the 41 the his opportunity. Look at this. This is the perfect opportunity for McNeil to win stage number two. They're four wide here. Here comes the 23 mm -hmm. to the middle. Four, five wide with side drafting happening. That's going to leave McNeil no oh, pressure out on the wall. front. Look at Comical. Comical sends it Where into the second place. Oh, they're getting dicey. Llamas Didi up the track. The outside oh, to try to make it back. Who's that? 22, Romeo? 22. Romeo, around. Romeo went around, and it looks like Comical will take McNeil. second. McNeil took the stage. GD third. Hidden Truth fourth. And Banksy back up to fifth as Romeo Trump. wrecks out before the line. Trout finishes sixth. Seventh is going to be Keystone. Proto finishes eighth. And then B Dodds finishes ninth. And then King Coda rounds out your top ten for stage number two. Last stage. Going to be fun to watch. Expectations. Think it gets dicey here, guys. Uh, so far, we've only seen about three cautions. Obviously, I believe we're going to have one more caution here early stage three. But I believe we will still wind up with a green flag pit stop. So even after that one caution, we go green the entire way. Just haven't had enough for the fuel run. Here's the race right here. How many laps in the stage? Probably what, 32? Somewhere around there? See it when we get up to we'll it. We'll see at the line. I'll write that down. Remember, the fuel run is 18 to 20 laps of fuel. 38 to go. 38 to go. 30. Okay. So a one stop. Should be it. one stop. Should be, yeah. Should be. That's pushing it, I feel uh, like. That is pushing it. That's where that one lap extra you can go comes yes. in. If you save one lap extra, you get more time to push, and mm -hmm. you don't want to be the leader. I'm just gonna say that right now. If you're McNeil, you're gonna only last 16 to 17 laps of fuel. If you're do you mid pack, well, hold on. But do you try to be conservative, or do you expect another caution? So far, we've had one at uh, the first ten yeah, on true. both stages. Yeah, that is a thing that is kind of worrying. If you're like a guy like Didi, he knows. I don't know. They're going to be aggressive. They're already four wide here. I oh, very aggressive. Caution. 23 into the night. <laughs> they almost went up the track. That was very close on them mid-pack there. T-Stone able to hold on behind the 10. Someone McNeil got loose back there. now under pressure for the 16. Go, go blocks him. 14 blocks him in. There goes Comical looking blocks the 14, low. but he sends down. To the lead. Here comes Comical. Dude, Dude he's he's in the, the middle. middle. <laughs> he clears them both. That's a race. He slides the middle to the lead. <laughs> Here comes Hidden Truth on the outside lane. They're f four wide nearly. Still three wide. They're about to be four wide. For st oh my god, for the lead. It's They're brewing four up wide here. for the lead. It's brewing up here. <laughs> it's again. brewing. Didi has the line. backs out. The 23 and 16 clear the 14. T Stun and gets... Didi. Two by two. Here comes the 41 up in Neil through the middle. 14 blocked in. Well, look out. Proto's got a good run here. 
He does. The 41's still stuck in the middle. Nowhere to go. Has to back out. 14 yeah, costs the speed. Oh, 10 into the 9. Yeah, they're getting dicey back there. Oh, Tinkar gets loose. The wreck around in the back. And there's Every that caution. 20 around. 12 around. Fulls gold. 5 car around. There is that That's... caution we were talking about. So racing back to the line. T-Stone right now has the 16 clear, but he powers down through 2. Didi on the outside lane is going to carry the momentum. He's got help from the 41. I think Didi, if he can get a good run through 3 and 4, he could eventually steal the push race back the 41, here. Push from the 41, push from the 34. They do not try to take it Ooh, on here the comes Pure Splash. Pure Splash. They all stay in lurking. line. Lurking. I say that. Lurkers. Side by lurking. side, coming up to the <laughs> caution line. 23 clears the 16. They're four Frodo wide for third. Looks to take second, I believe. He does. Ooh, ooh, he does. Caught me up the wall, DD. DD backs out, lets some people have some positions. That definitely yeah, helps our uh, our one stop pit. It definitely makes it a lot easier for the drivers because yeah. we did it about three laps, and that pretty much psyched it out. You have a one stop in. There's no other difference. You don't have to save. You don't have to do anything. It's one stop. You pit when you pit. Mm. Hello, Bredo. Hello. Sorry, I'm a little slow on the comments. Oh, 12 car. Ooh. Okay. Fulls gold? What happened? You just started to do a Tokyo Drift back there. Oh, we'll shit. Say you scaled we don't like have that? anybody a lap down, but that's likely due to no pit stops and our cautions at the beginning yeah. of stages. Which makes it a lot more deciding, in my opinion. I don't like having it, a lot of cars that down to the pitch strategy. I think we've only had, what, maybe four cars not be in the main pack racing for the lead? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Out of I agree. our 17, yes. maybe five not in the main pack. Yeah, four car was this four car this year because he lost the pack. Yep. And the 38 have issues because of lag, so he had to stay back there. I think he lost the pack one time. Um. I think of who else? Maybe the twenty car every now and then, but I think he stayed stage three. I know, I know the twenty was up there in stage one, but I guess he got collected in the second. He got stage an incident. Two. Yeah, he just started. Five was back. up there a bit, but he wasn't yeah. up here currently. Coming to the end Oops. of that stage Someone two, just we had like. I don't know. We'll find out. They don't leave those pits, I guess. I saw some cars teleport. I wonder if they might have lagged out on. There is a glitch oh, right there. We... B dots? Was it Banks? No. No, no one's out. No. Uh, nope. B dots is B -Dots the leader. did a strategy. Oh. He did strategy. Oh, interesting. Strategy call by. What do you him. think he did, though? We, we saw two tires that didn't work for the 24 earlier. What do you so, think he yeah. did? Everyone's still here, and yeah, B dots will take Guaranteed the lead. Guaranteed two on tires. A... That was definitely a two-tire, considering the gap was very short, leaving pit road. Uh, that's a gamble. I don't. Well, I don't know if it's willing to do, Dude. but I mean, I'll leave Dude. <laughs> hey, Spartan, welcome it's in. We are... an asshole, bro. He's an asshole, man. I didn't even uh, see that his was, comments done that. That was long ago. I don't even think he's still here. But um, we are. I believe it was only four laps into stage three. Yeah, close to it. Maybe five. So we still have. Yes. Still have a pit stop scheduled if we go green with about 35, somewhere around there to go. We got 32 to go. 32 to go. When they go green, it's going to be 31 to go. Nine How car loses back to green. Uh, it should be at here. the bottom of the channel points there, Spartan. Here we go. They're into they the restart set them zone. off. Yep, the 9 car got a good restart with the 41 pushing him. You see the 23 of T-Stone on the top lane. We're going to see how well the 41 can get underneath. Already under the 9 car. So this is a lot better execution than they did last time with older tires. Does the 19 help the 41 here of Trout? 19 is the Trout head who Spartans was talking about earlier. He's in the 19 machine having a great run. Here comes the 22. He's so aggressive. Clears the 19 down to the bottom. He's going to slide up into the 19 there. Able to get back in the nine car. McNeil to the lead. Officially clears the nine. He blocks Ooh, the 23 of T Stone. It was 
but nothing happened there. They survived. GB time for Trout starting now. He will have five laps considering we are in one of our super speedway elite tracks. Trout, 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 Trout. Trout. He made a good <laughs> charge on stage one. He is running up here with these guys again, battling three wide B dots and DD on the outside. Battle for the lead is heating through. up as well. Romeo, McNeil, Proto, and T Stone have been dominant forces. DD's been up there, but I feel like every now and then he chooses the wrong lane and falls back to around fifth or sixth. But now he's got momentum. Oh, McNeil's stuck in the middle lane. Watch out. Oh, he made a huge down. move. Wow. That was a huge move right there. Dicey. Even. Not able to get it through, though. Yep, exactly. So they got 30 to go in stage number oh, three. Oh, contact the nine into the ah, words. 99, 99 nine saves it. down into yep. the 19, hit the 99, a lot of nines. Okay. Maybe we jinxed them. A lot them of nines. Bit. That's the We're, nines. Who put, who put the timing on him? Who jinxed them? Oh man, Spartan, we don't Spartan. like you anymore. You should have left the 19 alone. No, I like Spartan. I like Spartan. I li I th he cursed him. All right, you don't. Oh, screen great, time yeah. is a curse. Everything's fine. It is. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Well, maybe not anymore. He's still in the fleet back. Honestly, it is a back. curse because of the 20 past him. Oh god, damn. Oh, <laughs> damn, no. son. <laughs> damn. Like, 20 hey, cars gonna win. Godox has been doing really well this race. 20 cars gonna win. I'm just going to mention, I said he very well earlier. could win this race. He's been running up here with these guys. Look at him right now on that tail. Oh, DD field. slides up into the, I think that's the 22 of Ro Romeo. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, he the... almost caught the 20's nose. He stays in line with them. Now that Godog's in the pack, and I can, I can actually use his point of view. As soon as I say that, DD goes for a move on the bottom lane. They're three wide for the lead. McNeil hits the 34 of Proto a little bit. They're going to go three wide here. Does Godog's go for the move? Go for the uh, three month then. Omega. So it's an anniversary for it. Aww. Here <laughs> comes T Stone. T Stone pushes Still on McNeil. Trout head for one more lap after we cross the line. Should I force you on someone for a few laps? Uh, that's what they're there for. I don't know if you want to do nah, it. Nah, I, I, I want you to actually be able to cycle through people. Could be funny doing someone random. GD still leads to where 27 laps to go, still outside of that fuel window. Three by three by three by three, all the way through. Yes, the there are three by cars. three. And who's leading that pack right now? Comical. Comical is leading in second place. I know he's not technically leading the race, but he's leading that. He was being pack pushed right by DD. the 20 of Go Dogs. Contact splash into Romeo. Oh. Pulls Proto up the, track. the top to go four wide and then break off in the top four. As yep, I was going to say, the they're picture. still four wide. They're still four wide here. Oh, Jeez, contact. Five, the wide. The five wide. As the 10 got pushed down to the grass, they were five wide for half a second there. 41 Jeez. slides up into the 22. McNeil slides up. Yep. I'm actually staying on the 19 because he's starting to pull with the 34 mm -hmm. and catch the front field. As soon as the five laps were over, he turned to life. <laughs> Trout all the way up. Mm. Outside the top five, right on it. He's currently running in fifth or sixth place, battling for seven, uh, sixth with Proto. Fit. Look at because Godogs inside the top contact. five. Go to the No! He's cheating the wall! Stop hitting the wall after we say your names! <laughs> oh my god, he's a choker. Why does I switch to him? But Comical Sinister! Oh, Comical slides up! Here, Here comes T Stone! T Stone to lead! Romeo to follow. Didi. Lost a lot of momentum there. Loses four positions, maybe more. Here comes the 19. Here comes the T in the bottom. Help with help, the 41. McNeil is pushing that man to the front. I'm going to give someone some screen time just because he deserves it. You're going to want to watch it. It's in his chat. You can read it. He's running Caesar second currently. A little Caesar to get to him. Comical has been oh. running well, but okay. T-Stone okay. is the control car. T-Stone is controlling this race, and it's pretty handily right now. Remember, there's only one more piss up to go. But he's not saving fuel. 
Someone like Didi who's sitting mid pack. If you're mid pack, I would be half daughter right now. Oh, they're getting huge runs. I hope they brought their to break. You don't want to be a. You don't want to get a black flag. I'm. A... Yeah, you have plenty of time to break down here because you yeah. can exile for four and yes. still have a good yeah, yeah. half a turn length away from the line. Yeah, it's about how deep they get. You could lose a lot of time entering. That's the main thing. You could see them all three trying to arc it up north towards the wall to get good arc, but Kamo was not able to get it because they had a DD on his inside lane, so he loses a lot of momentum there. But Romeo's catching. Not done. He is not done. Like uh, not done. like you said, he's not done. He's catching that to 23 of T stone. 45 saves it all the way down in the gray. The 16 stuck in this. this this pack back it is, here, yeah. not really moving. He's yeah, he's really 34, but that aggressive 41 of uh, McNeil keeping him right there. Romeo is now pushing Keystone. Comico sits in third still. So Comico's hanging tough right now. He's got a good chance tonight. Someone into the wall back there. Do we have any friends up here? And we'll come push comes to shove, and do we have any friends? That 41 should work with 14. We'll see what he does here. He mm -hmm. is in line with them. He followed him down and up. Oh, they're He's making a move on the 22 the T-Stone. stays. But the 22 is getting shoved. 14 hard into him. That's going to check up that low lane. So good DD momentum. T-Stone slides up. DD to the middle. Here he comes. He's, he Romeo loves that pushing middle. multiple cars to the bottom. Here he I come to the save the day. Side by side. Here, oh, the 14 almost had the nose under the 22. He lets him back. Got two laps left on the view of this 14. Hey, man, he's running top five right now. Oh, close on the oh, apron. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, he almost got an apron touch. This team's going to make some out for the, the lead. Down there is still treacherous. Here comes T-Stone to the bottom lane trying to make a move on T-Stone cleared four cars to the lead. <laughs> Nearly. And he gets loose really in the middle. 22 up into the 16. He's stuck in the middle lane now. Does oh, he get help? Oh, the Kamiko goes the No! The 10 goes Two around. Two cars, goes around. Single car. Kamiko well, that... involved with it, but single car around. Last lap of the Kamiko thing, and you see it with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There might have been two cars around back there. I don't. They might. We, we don't know the how they're gonna call that. The grass. Yeah, five cars only, around. Twelve cars only around. The ten ten cars spun. Around. Okay, so that might be a caution. There's yeah, two cars the around from. Yeah, oh, more cars, cars behind them. Yep. 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 Five car got into them afterward. Ah, all right. So it is caution back to the line. Race back. Oh, dirtiest cat gets wide. Dirtiest cat is making his way through the field. Look at him. Thank you for the raid, Cowboy. Had a lag issue. And Didi leads him back to caution inside of the fuel window. 19 to go. Yes, the fuel window is now done. They should be so, done with yep, pit stops. They will pit with 18. Green at 17. So yeah, they're good on fuel. This is gonna be fun to watch. Um, if if we see 17 green flag laps, that will uh, <laughs> throw so miracle. much more into this, considering those tires are going to be down. Because you still get sideways loose here at Auto Club with these cars. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. you don't do it much in the Gen 6, but the Gen 7 with these lower tires, you can get sideways. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. It's been a very solid race by everyone involved so far. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I th I told you earlier my pick is still my pick is still Proto. I got confidence in him. I think he'll be able to pick secure pick. the W today. Pick, pick, pick. Honestly, hey. from what Maybe I've seen, top seven. the cars that have been able to control this race so far have been Proto, Romeo, T Stone, T Stone, and uh, Didi. Mm -hmm. McNeil has been very aggressive, but he. He overdrives some corners so he can't hold the lead for long, but he's always there to try to take it. So if he wins, that's going to be definitely the last lap pass. Hey, Amen. I'll tell you someone who's sneakily inside the top 10 now after having that bit of a lag issue. Dirtiest Cat. I'm looking for him to be surprised at the end here. If he doesn't lag, he's got a good shot at it. He was yeah, if he doesn't lag, because if you look back at the beginning of the race, he was up there with those guys. You're very true. Very true. But I mean, interesting finish here. Yet. Be a fun finish. I'm hoping uh, the ones to watch, finish. honestly, probably just the ones that I just mentioned there that can control the race. 22, 23, 34, 16. All of them. Pretty but, much the yeah. top four. 
Yeah. So, they can all be passed that last lap. They can all be passed. Trout Addy even has a shot here. I mean, Trout, you Anybody. can't count someone inside car. the tops. 14 car. Anybody That's a little ambitious. Can... Oh, okay. I That's a little ambitious. I think looking I at the believe. field right now, every single driver has broken the top five. That's, yeah. Maybe besides Foles Gold. I'm not even kidding. Every single car that is currently running right now has broken the top five. Yeah, has Foles? I think so. He's gotten inside yes. the top ten? He was yes. there a restart, stayed there for like a lot, but he, he broke it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He, he pulled a Mets. We could call that a Mets. <laughs> we call that a Mets. We call that a Mets. <laughs> hey, Mets, you've led a lap or two. I've finished He's shown is very strong. So far, I believe he has led the most laps. I finished 6th yes. in this league. T-Stone and Proto, I think, overall have led the most laps. But T-Stone just has... Romeo has led a lot of laps as well. Do you remember when he had that gap and he was just riding like full? Yep. yep. All right, into the they start start finish. I shouldn't get hot. All right, <laughs> to the line with 17 to go. T Stone leads. I'm done. Here we go. T Stone leading us back to green, and they are green again. T Stone gets a good jump over Didi. Didi gets side drafted him. Look at the side draft. Dita gets a good run now. Side draft and early on. Proto pushes him. McNeil, Go Dogs on the bottom lane. Outside lane to get deformed as the 19. 23 is in the apron. Wide. Oh, that was close. His left sides were riding that banking. Ooh. Shocked he didn't go around. 23. Proto helping on 23 yeah. here. Hmm. His left sides were wrapping that apron. Oh, they're getting dicey. DD is going to take the lead. He's got a good run on the outside lane. Does T Stone get back to him here? DD's got help. Romeo, oh, the Romeo wall attacked bit. the wall. He was going to connect to 16. 16. He is still going to get connected lead here. With 16 to go. It does work. <laughs> hey, by the way, Go Dogs, if you watch after the race, I did not mean what I said. I was joking around. You do have a shot at winning, just so you know. <laughs> I meant but you gotta I keep said, it straight. Whatever it was. Oh Nothing my God, can. Romeo! Very aggressive down the middle. He pulled the 23 out of line to get that middle section. Clears him. Now fighting with Didi. 23 gonna try to get back to his back bumper. Ooh, he tries. Barely Make gets a little contact. Bit contact. Sends it up Watch into out, 16. McNeil. Three wide again. Four wide, Watch almost. Out. Here we go. Four wide. From Four wide. Here Trout. comes Trout. Trout. Five wide, nearly. Oh, oh Trout gets the loose. Window. 16 no, 41, 16 no to the wall. They wow. are back in traffic now. Didi's still very much in this, but in traffic. Yep, McNeil takes over second place but now with the help of the 99 to the I believe McNeil went up into this 19, which sent him up into the yep. 16. It looks look like it's possible. Yeah. Oh, and Dirtiest Cat just lagged on Didi. So Didi is oh, yeah. not, he's not, yeah, no, Dirtiest uh -oh. Cat is lagging bad. If he's so got Didi, damage, I think that's his race. Yeah. Yes, he has fronted damage. Pack. His best hope is a caution. He got only a certain amount of laps for a caution. Trout pushing. Oh, we're, look at Romeo. What we're looking at. We're probably going to get a caution. Four wide yeah. second place. <laughs> Four the wide again. Con contact 41. T -stone. Oh, T Stones. 41 contact into the 22. Sent the 23 up. The 99 down on the llamas. Beat odds. The nine. Look at Beat Odds, man. He's up inside the top five now. We haven't seen him all night. Now he's running in the top five, but didn't she with a chance here? Oh, 22 sends it down. I'm gonna push him out of that lane. Look now at Romeo trying to get back up to Promo. Uh, Proto. Look at Kodo. Look at Koda. Oh, they're three wide again. Koda's not here. Or King King, King Coat. Or yeah. King Coat. Oh, you're thinking yeah. of the other guy. Oh, oh someone went around! Oh, what right. the heck happened there? There's that caution! Huge yeah. wreck back there. A lot Huge of wreck! There's Falls the gold. 16. 45 is lagging. The 45 is lagging. Hit wow. true. It was 99. That caused it. Look out for the race back here. It's side by side. Still Llamas, McNeil, Proto, Romeo, and Coach. The Llamas is the first time to the lead. He has been pushing the leaders the entire race. That was the first time he took it. Can he race Can he it take back the lead? to the line? I think he is. Yeah, I think he's going to win it. Help. McNeil on the inside oh. lane. Look out. He's the, the 34. He goes the 41. And he takes it. Takes it. Line. Llamas will lead. 
Ooh, so llamas. This is racing. And that leaves us with 12 to go there at the line. We will be 10 to go at green. Laps yes. are settling down. Got nothing to worry about with fuel. Didi is so back in the picture. In tires. Everybody else is caught back up. Yep. He's gonna be so back. Llamas, he came, remember, he came in late in the season, he won a race, and locked himself into the playoffs. So he's one of the newer guys, but, I mean, one he's been impressive. One from the very last point position. Yes, he's been impressive in his limited starts this season, and he's trying to win the All-Star race to get momentum into the playoffs. I mean, he's That's one true. of those guys where he wasn't, he didn't start the season, remember that. He didn't start off the season, and now he's inside the league, and now he's pretty much showing off now. He has a chance to win the championship this season, very likely as well. Yeah, very true. Very true. A lot of people. Where do we start with the championship, who's... Brian? Where do we start next week with the championship here at White Line? Uh, let me go over the schedule real quick for you guys. Um, I think it's Homestead. Homestead? It's, no, it's WWT, so it's oh, Gateway. gateway. Start, just start with the Gateway. And that's a round of 16. Oh, Gateway for the playoffs. Yes, Gateway for the playoffs. They don't actually, they did Homestead for the third race of the season of Camo. I was thinking um, for the final. Gotcha. So I, I thought you said final four. Oh, no. The final oh, four no. is Auto Club. Oh, oh back here, Auto Club. We're back here. So let's okay. Hey, based on what we're seeing, that's going to be a good race. <laughs> okay, yeah. It is going to be a good race. I do it myself in NXT. I understand. Who? Okay, there's one guy I was, I'm was i meaning to talk about, but he's not in the race currently. He's left 44 of Dre, who's not in the race right now. He's yeah, also another contender good. for the championship. Yeah, we've seen him run top three basically all season. That's what this would be a great opportunity to get himself a win. Nobody does a tire shot this time. No one does a tire shot this time. Hey, man. I would have done it. With how they're racing? Yeah, but what's the sense? I don't know. Fun? It's an awesome race. You could easily go from ninth to first on a lap anyway, so it doesn't really mean anything if you go two tires. Spartan said he's biased for liking this race's uh, championship race since he <laughs> won it the last season. Or the two seasons so, ago. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I don't like that we're doing Auto Club for the championship race in ODRO, but at the same time, I can deal with it. Because it's just, it you, you gotta fun. get lucky. Yeah. You gotta get it brings lucky. Fun. You, gotta, you gotta bring your friends too. Yeah, you gotta have friends. Sometimes this can be hard. It also, the cars get very loose behind someone. I, I don't like that fact, but overall, it's a fun track. Yep. But I don't know. Alright, let's there. get to this. you less than 10 to go, you said Camo? Yep, gonna be 10 to go yes. at the line. Llamas leading us back to green. Expectations here? Do we see 4 right, wide turn 1? Do we see the 16 go from the back here to the front? Maybe. He's definitely gonna try. He's got some time to work with, but. Honestly, he's got to get past the Ryan Newman sitting in third place right now. Oh, Man. wow. Shots McNeil. fired. Damn. He's Ryan very aggressive here? and does not let anybody buy. Interesting. I'm okay. I haven't been around him enough. Here they go. Right. Really the good restart. restart by that Ooh, bottom 22. lane. Llamas gets going. McNeil to follow. Yep. Like I said earlier, the bottom, no, the leader has always gotten good restarts tonight. They've been, a, even on older tires, they've seen them pull out from the outside lane. Well, if the leader attack, doesn't have that a re restart, then, I, then there's something wrong there. Yeah. It's always know, if the other so, lane can match it. But the, one of the times they got side drafted, they were able to match it. But now, 99 to the lead, McNeil pushing him. Look at Romeo, gonna make a move. Gets a little block from block on that 22. Oh, oh it's all gonna lose. Around. Finally, we see it. Finally, they spin we it on the apron. He got, he got shot going uh, down on is that, that one. That was only one. That me. should be a caution if we had multiple cars collected okay. in that. He did it, so me, I wonder, bro. I wonder if they're racing it around again. I don't know. Right now, it is I only saw nine to go, around. but the 22 launched down the apron and got a shot from the 34. I'm still going to talk about the lead, though. McNeil and Llama's battling for McNeil's the lead. McNeil's going to send it. Back to the caution. I don't know if this is race back or not, because I think I this is just know. McNeil we'll trying out. to take the lead. He's got it so far. The 99 went high. The 41 is going to take it to the line. 99 is really high right now. Try to carry the momentum off. McNeil at the line, and they... it is caution. Okay. Do back it up. Okay. With so, eight to go. Here comes six the to go with the green. 
I do, do not see. see I do not see anybody in the top seven pitting. Oh. Not a single one of the. You top think seven anybody? Pitting. You think anybody in the top seven don't want to mean, from the twenty through from the twenty two spin? Oh, opinion, maybe those that got I damage. Disagree. I will have to see probably pit if it's yeah. significant enough. But right now I'm looking at uh from my in car of Didi, who is very clean, no damage, was around that wreck. He is at ninety eight tire. Ooh. I do yeah, not I see him that, pitting. Yeah. But I, I imagine the people behind him will, like maybe the 23 Camel. cars behind him. Pretty much, you, you should pit. I kind of disagree. I think if you're up front, you take two tires at least. I think everyone's coming down pit road here. I don't it's know if two tires will change if, if I'm in this, If I'm in this race sitting in the top five, I am not pitting. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, well, if, if the anything leader comes below down 90, pit road, I'm pitting. Below 95, I would. Anything above 95, I would. Not with eight lap. Not with less than. If the leader's coming down pit road, I'm coming down pit road. That oh, oh, fake them out. Fakes. Top five does not pit. What did I say? A lot of cars, though. A lot of cars. A lot of cars down pit top, road. If I am in the top five, I am not going in. What? Good call, Camo. Now we're going to see a hungry DD, a hungry Prox. No, not Proxy. Proto. No, Proto's not in there. Trout. Hungry Comical. They're going to be on fresher tires. H hungry Banksy, I guess. I'm just They're going to be on fresher tires. Romeo right on now, fresh tires now. Is these Hinter cars have each other up here in the top 10. If they're, they start together, they have some friends together. The 24, the 5. They got some I'll also friends. tell you, Pure Splash sitting third. I know he's very mm -hmm. strong at Super Seedways, so expect him to be aggressive here as well. You know he wants to get a win here. Yep. But yeah, yeah no, that back game. half it's of that... Anybody's. Bro, I'm telling you right now, Proto, Romeo... No, Romeo and I think it's DD back there are going to be flying on fresh tires. I'm just going to say that right now. They're going to fly through this field. And the nine cars, the first car with four tires, are for brand new tires. I think Ooh, the nine car, B-Dots. Right in front of them. Or, no, B Dots. Yeah, I think B Dots was the. Yeah, B Dots is the yeah. first one for. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what he does. Alright, All right, so watch. we will have. Six to go at the line. Six to go at the line. Five to go is the cutoff. Yep. Yes, sir. One lap for caution, which that last caution was off of one lap, so we very well mm -hmm. could hit him another one. And if it happens again, this top five is definitely not pitting again. Yes, agreed. Yep. Agreed. All right, Camo, you got this. Call it. All yours. All right. McNeil, control car, splash up to second. You have Proto and Alama's second row. See what these guys can do on a little bit older tire. They set it off. A really good restart by the 41. 17 holds side by side with the 99, but the 41 has cleared the field just for a second going to turn one. Five on the apron a little bit. Everyone's touching the apron. Oh, 23. Look at him. Contact got really up. wide. Wow. I could That's call probably going to cost him. Yeah. Still plenty of time, but he is on older tires. That 41, yeah. though. Llama's pushing him. Look at Coat and that 24 machine. McNeil's going to give up his inside lane. Almost there. Pure splash, still three wide. I'm watching Proto. I'm going to be watching that 34 as well. He's on the outside lane pushing Pure Splash over here. Trying to clear that 24. Six car breakaway. Five to go. Tail of this field is the five. And no more cautions. They are four wide behind them trying to break away from that pack in the background. That's Didi down oh, the wall. Oh, 12 car falls going to the wall. 23 of T-Stone got involved. And that's probably going to hinder T-Stone's chance. It. Look at the They're still four wide. Didi. Yes, Didi's on fresh, fresh tires. And they're catching. They're catching right now. They're catching. Oh, what's 41? Oh, they're flying right now. Watch out, guys. This is going to be tight. Didi he's is going to go to the outside lane. Remember, he's quick on the outside lane, too. And we know he loves the middle, has too, no when pressure happens. right now. The 99 has not made a move, but the 16 has Look caught the 17 on the outside lane. Look at Romeo. Look at Coat. Look at that five car of Ghost Tech and look at Llamas. Those are the guys are, I'm watching. Pure Splash on the outside lane as well. We are four to go. McNeil right now has a two car length gap to the 99 who overdrove the corner. Side by side with the five now. They're going to side draft each other. 
Oh, they're getting, they're dicey, they're slamming each other. <laughs> Not really side drafting, just bumping. Petey's being held Locked off in traffic up. right now, stuck behind the 24 and 17. 99 goes wide. Bottom. Now we're never three to go, coming at the line. Three to go, Proto in second place, going for a move on the five car of Ghost Deck. They're gonna get a run here on the thir Massive 41, they're gonna push him. The 41. No room Does the 41 the, uh, slide up? There was no room for him to go up to try to make a move. Didi on the Proto outside lane, look at this huge run! Look at this huge run on the outside lane! Look at it! He's gotta run! 3-1 for the go. lead! On the outside, outside. here comes Didi! <laughs> With the run and on fresh tires. In the wall though. Into the wall. He tags the wall. He's able to power back down, but the fresher tire is gonna keep him next to the 41. He's gonna try to take the lead. He can, but he doesn't have help. They're three wide for second. Comical, Trout. Two laps to Two go. Two to go. DD has taken over the lead. McNeil, one of the most aggressive Riding drivers on the bottom. so far. He's got the 14 behind him, the 17 on his outside. He, he slides up. up. What does the 14 do? Is he staying do with have... the 41? The question he is, do they he have enough him. tires? Comical loses that time. The 41's still second. It's two to go, 16's driving away. That's I think you called this. it, because here goes a run yeah. from the 14. Push the 41 up. That clears McNeil. Co oh, into the wall goes Pure. Oh, Pure Splash saved it. But yeah, no, DD on fresh tires. It's white flag. Gone, out of the way. A few cars in the grass. Comical, four wide for second place. Trout down on the bottom. No, I think pressure this race is over. over. This race is over. Unless he nothing, makes a mistake. Nothing at all up here. He's just got to stay away from the wall. Well, almost <laughs> and pulls I told up you, a second. And I told you earlier, fresh tires. Oh, Proto! Oh, wow! Slid into the field! Proto around! Huge crash back there! He will fall Coming out. out of four! Didi out of four! No pressure! Llamas hold second with battling the 41! Doesn't matter! Didi takes the all-star race! And New going tire on, the grass. Down the grass. Caution Gotta saved say. him! Pull from lag. Proto in the grass and leaves! So Proto. 16, 41, 99, 10, and 5 are your top five. A completely different field from what we saw in the middle of this race. Very true. Exactly. We saw race. the 23. I didn't know. I told you earlier, tires were important. You guys didn't believe me. He picked I, and won the race. I, mean, I, I was you, the one saying tires were going to be important. Yeah. What, but, are you, Brian, what are you talking about? But you got, you said I, you pit. I was saying, yeah. if I'm in the top five, I will not pit. Yeah. That is a I valid reason. I would not have pit there, regardless. Well, the 16, they didn't. the 16 got a lot lucky, though, because the top five, six cars were in pit, but everybody else behind that pitted. So that's a lot less ground to make up with new tires. And he sure showed it on that top lane. And... You know how good he was on that top lane all race, and then just shows up the last yep. three laps, and just pretty much away. did it by himself, and then put away right? and um, so he was ready. He was ready for that that final race start, and he was good to go. McNeil did all he could because if he pit from yeah. the lead, he's giving up all that track position to start back there with Didi, not yeah, knowing he sure. could get through the field like that. Very so true. even then, he held out as long as he possibly could. And Banksy will get the lap with a 205. Great race. Good championship preview. Interesting to Go see stick. when they come back with changes. Oh, yeah. I do need to put the the rest of the title on after I upload it. So I forgot to put that on when we started. I make sure to upload the other one first. You nerd. Oh, well, duh. Thank you. Finally. Oh, who had the fastest lap? I missed it. That was the 10. Banksy. The 10. 205. That's interesting. Didn't he finish top five? Yep. Well, there's Didi. Um, who was our checker, checker, checker. second and third? I completely forgot. Neil. Oh, Which Neil, I think he's top two. Oh yeah, him and Llamas. Yep. Llamas, who we thought thought he was gonna win that, honestly, at the end there, but then he made a mistake. Then he get a caution. I feel like that race would have ended differently. All right.
Right, welcome in. Make sure your orders are included. Uh, I don't know which one got third. Is that McNeil? No, that was me. It, it was Llamas by point zero zero one. Oh wow! I knew you all <laughs> side by side, but I didn't know who got it because it was up on Didi. All yeah, right, so point zero zero one. If we can, we can start with Mets and do Brandon, then I'll take the final. So if you want to, yep, take up with the ninety nine. All right, 99, Mr. Llamas. Um, yes, all race, you were one of the few who had the speed. You might have not led most, from what I can tell. You didn't, like, have the, you know, quote-unquote fastest car. But you were the one pushing the car towards the front all race. It came through at the top five. You got a podium, top three at the end. Uh, How would you feel about that Auto Club race? Um all, all together. As a whole, it was just insane. Like, four <laughs> wide, five wide. Most of the race, I feel like. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was intense. It was, it was definitely fun to watch. Now, Auto Club being the uh, championship race uh, for the series, do you, did you learn anything that you can bring into that race come championship finals to maybe potentially get you a championship? Uh, yes. Um, I think I will definitely learn from this race for that that final four. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job. Great your job, top three. We, we rooted you for you on. We noticed you a lot. Fast car, maybe not um, get to that not the uh, fast. P1, but uh, you're fast enough to get P3. And sometimes it's all that matters. Uh, you come away with some playoff points, I do believe. And, uh, yes, sir. Uh, help you in that playoff. So good job, and I will send it off to Bryn for P2. Appreciate it. All right, so P2 tonight, who was a guy who was aggressive all night. He was aggressive making moves. So P2 tonight, McNeil, still a great run. What were your thoughts on the racing, and do you think maybe you could have blocked maybe DD a little bit more? What were your thoughts on that, and was it just the old tires? Just, I don't know. Are you alive? Uh, yeah. Is Big New? Big New? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, yep. yeah. Oh. I was, ta- I was talking away on this. So. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like I was a sitting duck out front. I'm, I think Dee Dee took tires, and my tires are a little bit older, but still not too bad. So, um, yeah, I had a little bit of a lead with, like, three to four to go, as you guys could see. And, um... I just couldn't have blocked that run, or I would have wrecked the whole field. But overall, it was a crazy race, a little too aggressive at times. Apologize to Kami for chopping his nose, but uh, great race. Got lots of help from Llamas, so wouldn't have stayed up there without pushes from him, um, you know, the whole race. Hey, man, it's it's okay. It's good that you finished top three as well. This is also the championship. Like Mets said, it's a race that you, I mean, if you get there, I mean, this is probably, you're probably going to have a great run here as well in the championship. So running well early on at Auto Club during the All-Star race is actually a preview for the championship as well. So congrats on your top three. Hopefully we'll hear from you next week as well when we start the playoffs at Gateway. For sure. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. On to Camo for today tonight's winner. All right, and another familiar face. We got Dee Dee as our all-star winner. Uh, Mets pick, by the way. So he should feel good about on that. A roll. <laughs> He's on a roll. He's on a roll. You, among a good few others, honestly, about half the field were some of the uh, strongest cars able to control the race. We saw Romeo, uh Proto, guys like them, McNeil, able to get out front and control the lanes. But you were also one to continue to cycle that lead. You really loved the high side. We saw that. You run in the nine. Were, was there any doubt after you were stuck in the field? Because I know you got knocked back after a lag, I think it was, or a wreck and then a lag, and was hoping for that caution, knowing you're back in the field. Was there anything that you were hoping to go differently after you got that late caution and got the tires in? Do you think you could have made it past that field in that short amount of time? Uh, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I was 
really not sure if I wanted to pit or not, but I wanted to get in the pits and loosen the car up. Uh, and while I was in there, I was like, I might as well take four. So I just, I did that. Hopefully I loosened it up to run that high. Like I, I knew if I was going to get up to the front, I had to run pretty high and carry a lot of momentum on that high side. And luckily enough, there was room up there because I was the only one up there. <laughs> and I got that huge run out of two. Uh, huge. I don't even know where that run came rank. I, I don't even know. But I got that run, got clear of the 41 on the exit. And luckily, they started you know, going three or four wide behind me. I got to pull away. So I, I honestly wasn't sure how, was, how that was going to play out. But if that caution didn't come out, I was screwed. I was about to lose the draft. I had yellow damage my front end side. So, yeah, I was praying on a caution for sure. Yeah, well, once we saw that happen, I thought you were still in it until that lag kick and just a very lucky caution in the end. I figured we were going to probably have some green flag pit stops to the towards the end of stage three, but... Just cautions right after the fuel window starts. Kept it up to a racing deal. We just watching the four wides do the fall full field the entire race. It was I think awesome. we hit five wide about three times tonight. That's that's what I so, I like saving, but that nonstop racing I love it even more. That's yeah. That's I'm surprised what people we had want to watch. Less than five cautions. I think we had five, if not less. With yeah, that cars being that close together. Close calls. There's a, a lot of fast cars. Out. Like, everybody was fast up front. Everybody in that race was up front at one time or another. Yeah, I, I definitely called so, it in the podcast that so every single car in the field that was still running at the time broke the top five. It was amazing. And, you know, all of three or four, even five wide times, people held it fairly well as well as you're going to, you know, hold it. I mean, sure, you're going to get into somebody, but it's it's a part of the racing it's it was it was just fun like you said there's only five you know five cautions with all that racing so that's that's a perfect race if you ask me all right well is there anything you want to add before we head off uh yeah i mean thank you you know and brennan and you know mess fan for broadcasting this race uh you know i always like going back and watching these streams and thank you marty for the community page and everything that you do all right, and that was our winner, Didi, again tonight at the White Line All Star Race. I'm actually not sure if there was uh, a prize to the end of this race or if it was just kind of an exhibition. Ex- I think it was a points. Uh, I think it was points. points. Play up points. The first, second, was? and third, okay. I do believe. Yeah. Yep. So Didi stealing some points away from some people, but second and the third definitely picks them up. Some valuable ones too for them. I think it, I don't yeah, think it was even the first car. I think it was the first whoever. Oh, just the first what the, in line of it. The first, uh, the first playoff driver, yeah. five ah, points. So, so I according think I to Kami, it, it was it was first, second, third. So and oh, if somebody can get first, first, yeah, it was first, second, okay. third. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I read it wrong in my message. Well, either either way, way, uh, yeah, very exciting great, race. A great championship Good preview. Saw that. Excited to see that. Um, Great job all around. Five wide, sometimes six wide, four wide. <laughs> People coming and going. Did strategy it played it off. Mm-hmm. Great job. Strategy all did around. play off. Very, very pleased. Gate- Fun night. Yep, definitely. The race was decided. We had six wide at one point, I think it was. I think uh, it. Maybe once. but Maybe, maybe once. once. A. But it might have been when someone was falling out, but still. Um, We're going that from- was. Yeah, that was a white line, and we will see y'all next week for the start of the playoffs over at Gateway. So, we're good going Dini. A... We'll see y'all next week. We're going from a super seedway to a short track, so we're gonna see how that figures out next week as well. I wanted to say this. I didn't want. I I know. I'm sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> All right. See you guys next week. Peace. Good one. Out. Yes, Woo! We done. Brand new art.